Good afternoon, good evening everyone, it's David Schlothauer here in the home weather office for Monday, September 25th, 2023 with a detailed U.S. weather forecast because we have extreme weather pattern changes coming that you need to be aware of with record high temperatures for the Midwest with very cold weather back west with more storms coming. Also, if you're interested in joining the Weather Force Discord server today, there is a link in the description below this video. We have great awesome members that are willing to talk with you, hang out with you. So if you want to join today, it is 100% free. All you need to do is click on the link below this video and you could join the Discord server. Now, taking a look at our current weather conditions right now across the United States, we have a lot of weather going on today, actually, despite that many areas across the Four Corners and the High Plains are actually seeing pretty tranquil weather, including here in California. That's because we have a ridge of high pressure that we have encompassing the Four Corners. This is what we call the Desert Southwest Ridge that is in place but we also have some disturbing weather going on across the Great Lakes. This is bringing in some cooler weather, some showers and thunderstorms. And then, of course, if we look across the West, we have a big atmospheric river. This is a mega storm bringing lots of rainfall, lots of wind. We've already seen a lot of damage taking place because of this storm system. And this is on its way eastward where it's going to also bring in some more wild weather conditions across the the northern Rockies, including for Montana, while there is more showers and storms continuing across the northeast. So looking at the latest European model for September 25th, 2023 here, this is a global computer model where it actually forecasts who's going to get rain, who's going to get quiet weather, but also who could get some snow too for the higher elevations. This is what this model is going to actually help us kind of dissect on. So going forward, of course, we have this big atmospheric river impacting the Pacific Northwest. So again, if you're out doing anything tonight into tomorrow, just keep that in mind. There is going to be more big rain coming along to go with more stronger winds, more disturbing weather continuing across the central portion of Illinois. If you're in Indiana, yeah, some thunderstorms that could be capable of producing some more heavier rainfall but that is going to be all that you all are going to see for a while in the midst of a drought that's developing over the upper midwest here more showers and storms continuing over the southeast such as florida but nothing too substantial now we have to watch this system right here moving off the new york city coast this could actually develop again some of the models are trying to spin up something again of the remnants of ophelia We'll see if that actually comes to pass. Some of the models have been very aggressive at showing possibly another tropical storm hitting the eastern seaboard, while some of the other models have not indicated much in the way of that. So it is worth watching on what that might do in the next, say, five days. This is Saturday, September the 30th. The much of the Midwest is looking quiet. But there's also something more substantial and extreme about this pattern that you don't see on the map right now. And that is going to be the temperature swings that you will be dealing with. We have cooler weather across the west. So we have a little bit of a weather system. And yeah, that is some snow for the mountains of the Sierra. We got some snow also for northern Nevada, also for portions of Idaho and Montana. Yeah, some early snow for this time of the year is pretty ironic to see. To start off October, so yes, a big weather system here going to bring down temperatures quite a bit, possibly some record low temperatures potentially over much of the uh, Nevada region as well as Utah, and then that is going to move out towards the north, and there will be some more quiet weather there to follow across much of the Midwest as we have large-scale ridging that is going to develop. So now looking at your temperature anomaly forecast here, uh, we're not going to really have time to actually dissect into your actual, actually we could look at your actual air temperatures here in just a second, but these temperature anomalies are going to be a big deal. This weather pattern is going to be extreme by all means, okay? The temperatures are going to be wild. We have big storms that are going to develop across the West and it's going to just add in more heat to the Midwest here. So going forward here by days two and three 
we have above average temperatures. You can see over Nova Scotia, over Manitoba, uh, Hudson Bay. Look at this. This is ridiculous. 25 degrees above normal. Wow. Definitely extreme here. And then look at this. This pattern gets even more wilder by early October. We have well below average temperature chances over the western U.S. with above normal temperatures across the Midwest and the Northern Plains. Sorry, I'm smiling. I'm in a little happy mood today. Um, so some record high temperatures will continue. And then this is just not going to get any better. It's going to get only more extreme from here on out, potentially over the next 10 days. Record high temperatures, possibly some monthly records could be challenged over um, Kansas, over, say, Nebraska, over uh, portions there of Iowa, as well as um, the upper Great Lakes. If you are in, say, uh, Quebec and Ontario, Canada, temperatures are just going to be off the charts, ridiculously warm for this time of the year with below average temperatures likely uh, for the West. Yeah, West has been really fortunate this year. I don't know why. It's just been in my favor. So looking at your actual air temperatures, you can see the warmer weather really gets going tomorrow. It is going to cause a lot of problems, okay? For the deep south here, we have upper 80s to lower 90s going forward. This is uh, for Wednesday. Look at these temperatures for uh, the, the Texas, uh, for Oklahoma. Upper 80s, low 90s, even some middle 90s. Look at this, triple digits for late September. Absolutely ironic to see that in, say, Phoenix, Arizona. And it's going to continue all the way through Thursday. And it's really going to be this weekend when it is going to just get terrible. I mean, look at these temperatures. 80s, 90s, maybe some low 100s potentially for southern Texas. It's just, this is really something. And look at the temperatures. Take note of this. Nevada seeing temperatures in the 20s and 30s during the day. You go further east here, you're having some 90s. What about that? Just wild weather pattern here. Going to be a problem for October 2nd, October 3rd. I mean, wow. Indian summer might be a nuisance here for much of the Midwest, and that could continue all the way through the first week of October. So yes, some very hot weather expected, maybe some heat advisories, that sort of thing. Something that you're not used to seeing this time of the year. Now on to our geopotential heights. The reason why we're gonna see an extreme weather pattern, and I repeat, extreme weather pattern, is we have uh, this air mass. The, this is the geopotential height at 500 millibars. This is showing us where the air mass is going to be warmer than average, where the heights are higher than normal, and where we have below average heights, where it's usually more stormier, wetter, cooler. Okay, so going forward, we can see it uh, on day uh, three, we have this ridge that's going to be building in. You can actually see it right here, and that ridge is going to lead to some of the warming that is going to be really amplified. By day five, this is September the 30th, Big, uh, big storm for California and also for the Intermountain West. Uh, maybe some big snow for the higher elevations. Some uh, really cold temperatures expected. And then you go across the Midwest and the Northern Plains. Look at this amplified ridge here. Really strong. And this is going to lead to a mega warm-up. Big temperature swings here. It's going to be wild. So just be aware of that. And then by uh, October 2nd and the 3rd, uh, you can see this ridge really just kind of dominating much of the eastern half of the U.S. And now as long as you get the southerly flow that is here, there's going to definitely be some warm air advection, some moisture. And if we get any of these troughs like this one right here, if it wants to go like that, we might see some big severe weather events um, unfolding. So, yeah, we got to watch the Euro pretty closely for that. So now let's take a look at your 500 millibar height map or, or right in the winds. We can see, of course, in the next three days, the winds in the upper levels are going to be kind of strong. And But look at this pattern. Like, my gosh, look at this uh, bowling ball uh, trough here. This is going to be a big problem for California, maybe for Southern California, for, the, um, for Nevada, maybe some uh, big winds and stuff like that and then that moves off 
and that ejects and this is when it could get pretty dangerous see this trough right here if this gets over here we get some forcing on the right front quadrant we could get a severe weather event uh over the dakotas as well as montana but that's too far out that's 180 hours out that's like eight days out from right now so a lot can change now, what has been a, the theme lately here on the CDAS? This is basically the observed temperature anomalies over the last 30 days. It's been pretty warm for Texas. Temperatures 7, almost 8 degrees above normal. So if you guys have been complaining about how hot it's been, I could agree with you on that. It's been very warm there. The Midwest, the, the Central High Plains, the Northern High Plains. Oh my gosh, look at Canada. Canada is just boiling up here with temperatures that are 10 plus degrees above normal in the last 30 days. Just ridiculous. Fires burning up there. It's just been wild. And then, of course, if you're back across California and Nevada, you have had temperatures below normal for this time of the year. Precipitation, you can see uh, definitely very dry for much of the upper great lakes for the upper midwest look at um you know for indiana there uh precipitation three to five inches below normal in the last 30 days in fact ethan was telling me last night they have only had a tenth of an inch of rainfall um a tenth to a quarter of an inch that is a rainfall i think it was a tenth of an inch i think he yeah it was a tenth of an inch of rainfall throughout the entire month of september that is just sickening. That, that is just ridiculous. When we look at the last 30 days, you can see right here in Indiana, uh, only seeing as much as only a tenth of an inch or even lesser in some areas, like no rain at all in September, possibly one of the driest um, Septembers ever on record for that area, including for Ohio, while other areas here, big time rainfall that's because we had Ophelia bringing even 20 inches of rainfall for that region recently and so that's why those precipitation anomalies are pretty sickening wild well above normal taking a look at the climate prediction center this is just jaw dropping extreme by all standards never have seen it before in quite some time las vegas you're seeing a 60 percent chance of below average temperatures over the next six to ten days this is just absolutely crazy mind-boggling wild you don't see that very often um for the month of september i mean is it like well what are we in are we in october are we in november but look at this if you are in the midwest here there is an 80 to almost 90 percent chance that you could have temperatures above average and that certainly asks a question that you could see record high temperatures des moines iowa um, i have friends that live in davenport over here could see some uh, monthly records to be broken if you're in springfield bloomington i have my friend butter dog woof, 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 that lives there definitely going to be a mega heat wave for your area and then of course for much of the eastern seaboard wow definitely on the warm side this is not going to get any better in fact might be just as bad if you're in indiana where you have a 70 percent chance of seeing temperatures above normal for early october i mean just it, i can't i don't like using the word extreme but i have to because this pattern is just ridiculous you have not had any in the way of arctic outbreaks or any arctic shots like maybe some cold air blasts but really followed by some very warm temperatures while the west here gonna see temperatures near to below average likely for this time of the year and the three week output hasn't updated yet so uh, over the next couple of weeks it is just going to be just terrible it's going to be just very warm and also very dry look at this below average chances for precipitation over indiana ohio and pennsylvania above average for the high plains for the northern portion and then of course that continues all the way through the next 8 to 14 days. That's a look at your Climate Prediction Center. I also want to make a huge special announcement that I did buy my DJI Air 3 for members only. So when I get this drone, we're actually going to do some cool sunsets, get some cool weather footage and all of that. So if you're not a member today, please consider becoming one so you get this awesome exclusive footage 
on the aerial side of things, looking at sunsets, looking at some pretty cool aerial photography, which I am so excited to bring with you all. So again, got the DJI Air 3. Hopefully it will be here on Thursday or Friday. And once that happens, we're going to do an unboxing live stream in the Discord server. So if you want to be part of that, be sure to check out the Discord server with the link in the description below this video. Well, that's going to sum it up for today's video, everyone. If you did enjoy the video and the update on the US, please consider subscribing if you're new. If you haven't yet, please ask yourself if you do want to support the channel. I would highly recommend doing so uh, by uh, there's a link in the description leading to my YouTube channel page. I think you're already on it. You're just watching the video, but you get the idea. Just check my YouTube channel out if you guys did like today's video. Also, share this with your family and friends and also slap that like button if you haven't already. Let's get this video out up to maybe 300 likes, 400 likes. And the more likes we get, the YouTube algorithm is likely to recommend this to a larger audience and it can go from there, a snowball effect. So be sure to share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already.